Should you join a team as a team agent or should you fly solo? Before I can answer that question, let's talk about what joining a team will get you. And so you can then decide for yourself whether or not joining a team makes sense. Typically in joining a team, and I'm talking now a productive, high performance team, you're going to receive two things. Number one, you're going to receive training because the team leader is going to teach you their systems for success. And these are proven systems for success because the team is a high production team. So you're going to learn everything from, you know, how to deal with lead inquiries. Uh, possibly they have an inside sales agent, how to do presentations, how to do buyer presentations, how to do listing presentations, etc., etc., etc. And most of the focus, especially initially, is going to be on the buyer side. So most team agents that are hired are buyer agents and they're being taught a superb way of working with buyers. The second thing you're going to get as a team agent is business. So when I ran my team, my team agents would get anywhere between five and seven transactions per month. Now, sometimes it might be a slow month where they only get two or three transactions, but the goal was five to seven transactions per month. And uh, the reason I could do that is because as the team leader, I was doing a lot of marketing, a lot of advertising and driving business, driving opportunities to my team agents. So as a team agent, you can count on doing a significant number of transactions. At a minimum, you should be doing two transactions per month, ideally more than that, depending on the team that you're working with. And by the way, that is a question to ask the team leader, you know, how many transactions are your team agents doing and go on the MLS and research yourself how many transactions these team agents are actually doing versus what the team leader is telling you. So when you're asking yourself, should I join a team? The question is number one, um, how are you going to generate business and would it be helpful for you to give up half of your commission because that is what usually team splits look like 50 50. Is it worth giving up half of your commission in exchange for a steady stream of business in exchange for getting two, three, four transactions per month as opposed to maybe struggling and only doing four or five transactions a year. 50% of 25 transactions is a hell of a lot of better than 100% of five or six transactions. The second question is how adept are you with the business? When you're first starting out, let's say you just got your license, honestly, joining a professional team could be one of the best experiences for you because you will be taught the ropes of the business from the get-go. If you have the resources to invest in training and mentoring and coaching, and you have the fortitude to actually do that, the self-discipline to follow through with that, then maybe you don't need that aspect from a team because there's a tremendous amount of outstanding training available uh, that you can find. You can just go onto YouTube, frankly, and start researching buyer agent and listing agent training videos. Uh, so it's a matter of personal discipline, but having someone that can hold your hand, having a mentor can be invaluable. And if you don't join a team, then generally speaking, you're going to have to pay for that. So you're going to have to pay for a coach or a mentor to help you with your business. So the question, uh, the answer to the question of should you join a team really depends on where are you right now? Are you just starting out or are you already an experienced agent? And then number two, what is your uh, you know, situation with respect to your financial resources and potential pipeline of business? If you have the resources to invest in marketing yourself, then you can generate your own business and you don't need a team to generate that business for you at a 50-50 split. But when you're first starting out, if you're completely green, you're new to the business, then joining a quality team can be one of the best things for you to do. And joining a quality team is just like joining as an employee in a high performance organization. Team leaders will be very, very, very critical of who they're going to bring on. When I used to run my team, I would probably interview 20 to 30 people uh, to one hire that I would make. Because again, you know, when you have a team leader looking for an agent to join your team that is going to do four, five, six transactions a month and learn the ropes from a successful team leader, um, you know, there's demand for that. So depending on where you are at, if there is an opportunity opening up with a truly successful team leader, somebody has a track record, somebody that's doing significant number of transactions, um, then that would be potentially a fantastic opportunity to pursue. I hope you got some ideas out of this. 
Uh, my name is Thomas Hyman with Realty Partners. If you have any more questions, please feel free to DM me or reach out to me and I'll be happy to uh, help you further. Thanks so much.